Well, hey guys, it's Catherine with CatherinePuller.com. I am going to do some stamping. Oh, I'm I'm tipping my hand here, people. This is what I'm gonna make, and I wasn't going to show it to you yet. Oops. Awesome. So I am inspired by this card here. Ardith, one of our creative team members. Hey, Kathy, made it. This does look a little bit like weird lighting here. Is it okay, no. you guys? It looks like purplish, doesn't it? No, it just. Uh... Is this better? Here, look through there. I think that is better. Is that better? Let me see. Hey there. Yeah. So, um, Ardith made this card. I was so inspired. I thought it was amazing. I love this flower, and I love how she just colored in, like, every other little detail line there. And then she added glitter. And she also did some gray coloring in here, which I'm not going to do um, today. I could, but I'm not. You can do it. <laughs> So pretty. <laughs> and I'm going to add glitter in a little different way that Erica, when I told her what I was going to do, she said, I don't know what that is. And I said, sister, <laughs> come with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see sun today. Wonderful. So I went, I took the girls this weekend to Winston-Salem for another dance weekend and it rained the entire weekend and it was one well, of those. What? Yeah. It's yeah. raining here for about a week and a half. Yes. Some some of our dance conferences, you go and you are in the convention center and it'll be hooked into the hotel next door so you like never see the light of day. But this one, we had to drive back and forth from the School of the Arts to the hotel and it was rain all day, all of the days, except for uh, yesterday. We finally saw sun yesterday. Okay, so on this guy, I think my black ink pad needs some ink because I missed a little here that was just... Um, if I inked my ink pad, I think it would be good. Is the light okay? I don't know. I feel like it's kind of dark. Well, I would turn on that side light, but it's still <clears> within. <throat> that one didn't help. Yeah, that didn't help. Okay, so I'm going to do some coloring. And I can take my block and I can just dab my ink pad onto it like that. Or I can just get color out of the lid, either one. And I'm going to color with a blender pen. So this is a clear marker. Sometimes I like to do the lid thing, but then it goes against my nature of wanting things to be clean. Oh, then I yeah. have to clean my lid out. So I actually think the block thing makes me feel a little bit better. So you want to know something funny. This ink pad is a little bit of a mess, and I noticed on the back it's blank. That's because it was our prototype from back in the day. <laughs> so you see how messy my ink pad is. It's been around the block for about three and a half years, and I am not a clean stamper. I am a hugely messy stamper. So that's why it looks like that. <laughs> so yeah, isn't that so pretty? So you could go crazy and color in all kinds of detail on this stamp here. Like, yep, I thought Lisa Harrell did this one. So Lisa Harrell did this one. She colored like the Dickens and then she die cut it with the coordinating dies. And in case you missed it, this is our cottage corsage stamp set. It just came out two weeks ago. We are restocked on our dies. Actually, I think the interlock sold out again. Oh gosh. But I think there's more on the way. This card is crazy to me because this piece looks like when you buy like a, in a scrapbooking kit, those cutout pieces. Oh yeah, totally The does. way she colored the whole thing in, it, it looks like it's a, something she cut out that was printed it's really cool. It is gorgeous. And then the interlock die is behind it. And then she did these cute little accent flowers there. That's one thing I love about this set. In this little corner here, how cute is that? So I did a card so with those cute. pieces this weekend, but I did it really like light colors. Oh, yeah. Are you going to share that card? I can. I don't really like it. I know. You told me that. I'll grab it. <laughs> okay, but let me show you this glue gloss. You ready? Yes. I haven't used this in a little while, so it's time to break it out. Glue gloss is like a little lip gloss. <laughs> okay. It's got glue on it. And I'm just gonna dab it. I don't I haven't used this to like hold my cards together, but for adding glitter. So I could just do on the little oh. purple, or I can just go around the whole thing here, just like that. Let me get a little more. And remember, our ink is water-based, so when it gets wet, it will reactivate. So if you kind of smear this around too much, 
it'll activate yeah. that ink and it'll start to bleed. Okay, and then we have this powder spray bottle and this is filled with glass slipper glitter, which is in our shop made by WOW. You're just gonna take this guy and you're going to squeeze and you, can you see the glitter coming out? Did you see that? I can see it, but I don't know if they can. I think they'll be able to see the result. It's so cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's not, like usually I take my glitter and I dump it on and I pour it back and that totally works, but this is fun. Yeah. Well, and it doesn't get it's not as, as messy, much cool. Yeah. And you're not wasting, because you'll end up then, even when you try to get it back in, I always lose powder or whatever mm. when I'm trying to put it back in. So I do have a little bit on my sheet here and I would just toss that because it's not that much, but it's just a fun little gadget. Plus sometimes you'll end up getting, I get debris off of my surface in it sometimes then I don't oh. want to pour it back into oh, my container. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You might get little, you know, pe extra pieces like this that came out of a dye stuck in your, with your glitter. Okay, so if you're using blender pens, you're just going to rub it off or uh, scribble it off on scratch paper until that runs clear, and then you're ready to go into the next color. So these are in our shop too, if you don't have them. They are totally amazing. And then I'm gonna do direct to paper so I can create some flirty fuchsia cardstock. Ooh. I just got a bunch of glitter on my ink pad, but all I'm gonna do is take a piece of masking tape or purple tape, and then that will just pull the, uh, the glitter right off for you. Oh, that's handy. Oh, nifty tip. And then, while she shows you her card, I'm gonna take the Blowing Bubbles Border Die and I'm going to go die cut this. So I did the, this piece, I embossed it in Oyster Glints with Wow, and then went in with the blender pens and did some Be Mine and some Tiki Torch, Melon Ice, some Mardi Gras, but it did it really light and pale, which I think is pretty. But when I went to do this part, I kind of messed up and then I added a greeting and it, I don't know, I think it's a bit busy now. It looks, thanks Karen. I think it's a bit much. I think I like that or I like that <laughs> if I had gotten this correctly done, but. This corner, I love, yeah. I love the corner. And you can use those corners in your Cambo bullet journal. Yeah, it's cute. So cute. Okay, here is my Blowing Bubbles border. Nice. So this has been really popular. We just got restocked. And I'll tell you a funny story. We ordered, we placed an order, and then the dye company sent us like three times as many as we ordered. <laughs> and so they said, well, we'll you can send them back. And then we've sold out our initial order, so I said, we're not, we, we're not going to send them back. We're just going to keep them because we sold them all. <laughs> So, and then you just add this to your card. You can use a bunch of the edge or you can use a little bit less. So here it is on a full finished card. Move this over. So there's that. Here is another one with a, kind of an ombre blowing bubbles border there. And then the cottage garden, which you can see here was the inspiration for the stamp set. I love those. And we have that. Zipper flowers. Zipper flowers there so that's that and it's really cool how you see like <clears throat> this is just a little teeny bit of color as as was on this one but like it could it looks so different here the way that Lisa colored it from this one from even like mine in the light colors like yeah it's a lot of variety that you get out of one stamp Yes. So pretty. So pretty. All right, now I know how to use glue gloss. You know how to use glue gloss. <laughs> and guess what? It's in the shop. Sweet. Along with the <laughs> glass slipper glitter. Nice. And the powder spray bottle. <laughs> I think I definitely need one of those because I make yeah, some fun. messes up in my craft space. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in, you guys. Hope your evening is amazing as well as your week. And we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.